joint and solidary obligation. Since ito ay part ng law, dapat lang nabasahin muna ang article about dito. Civil Code of the Philippines, Article 1207 The concurrence of two or more creditors or of two or more debtors in one and the same obligation does not imply that each one of the former has a right to demand or that each one of the latter is bound to render entire compliance with the prestation. There is a solidary liability only when the obligation expressly so states or when the law or the nature of the obligation requires solidarity. Types of Collective Obligations Joint Obligation Where the whole obligation is to be paid or fulfilled proportionately by the different debtors and demanded proportionately by the different creditors. Ang pagsingil at pagbayad dito ay depende kung ilan ang hatian nila sa obligation. Ang pwede lang singilin or bayaran ay ang share nila sa obligation. Solidary Obligation Where each one of the debtors is bound to render or each creditor has the right to demand from any of the debtors the entire compliance with the prestation. Pwede singilin or bayaran yung buong amount ng obligation pagparehas solidary or pag joint naman up to magkano ang share nila. General Rule When there are two or more debtors or two or more creditors, the obligation is generally joint. Except, when there is a stipulation in the contract that the obligation is solidary, when the nature of the obligation requires liability to be solidary, and when the law declares the obligation to be solidary. Example of Joint Obligation A and B are joint debtors of C to the amount of 400,000. C can only demand 200,000 from A and only 200,000 from B. Pag solidary obligation, ganito. A and B are solidary debtors of C to the amount of 400,000. C can demand the whole 400,000 from A. And A, after paying C, can ask for reimbursement from B to the amount of 200,000. Subukan natin itong problem. A and B are joint debtors of C, D, E, and F who are joint creditors to the amount of 400,000. How much can C demand from A? Since apat sila na creditors, ang total na matatanggap dapat ni C ay 100,000. Pero, ang pwede niya lang singilin kay A ay 50,000. Since magkahati sila sa obligation ni B, Para madali natin i-compute magkano ang sharing nila sa isa't isa, ganito gawin natin. I-multiply natin yung number of joint debtors sa number of joint creditors. 2 times 4 equals 8. Ang 400,000 divided by 8 or 50,000 ang pwedeng makuha ng isang creditor per debtor. Ganun din sa side naman ng debtor. 50,000 per creditor ang babayaran nila. Subukan natin ulit. This time, A and B are solidary debtors of C, D, E, and F joint creditors to the amount of 400,000. How much can C demand from A? Bilangin natin ilan ang joint creditors. And since solidary ang debtors, pwede natin i-treat yun as 1. Bali, 4 times 1 equals 4. 400,000 divided by 4 equals 100,000. Ang pwede i-demand ni C kay A as his total share on the obligation. I-multiply nyo lang kung ilan ang joint debtors sa joint creditors. Or multiply sa 1 pag may solidary sa kanila. Then divide the obligation 
dun sa number of shares. Makukuha nyo na kung magkano ang kailangan ibayad ng debtor at pwede singilin ng creditor sa isa't isa. Kung meron kayong questions or clarifications, mag-leave lang kayo ng comment dyan sa baba. Mag-like and subscribe na rin kayo for more review tips. Salamat and good luck sa inyo!